Hi there, and welcome to Rent This Home. I am Michael with Red Team Property Management, and I'm your host for this show. And from a standpoint of why are we even here, Red Team and Rent This House, Rent This Home is all about educating you as the investor, whether you have, I don't know, four, five, six rental properties, or if you have one or two, or let's just say you're a first-time investor considering getting into the residential rental property world. That's what this show is about. It's about educating you as the investor and knowing where the pitfalls are, how to avoid them, and how to be successful and get the best value out of your residential rental property. So let's talk about whys. Why do you, why does anyone really, why do you invest in rental property? You know, you could ask that question to tons of different people, and ultimately it all comes down to one thing. It comes down to the fact that rental property, just like any other investment vehicle, it's about a return on your investment. It's about putting a dollar in and getting much more than a dollar out. So whether you buy stocks or bonds or mutual funds or whatever the case may be, rental real estate works exactly the same way. You want to put money in and get more out. But people say, you can ask again, ask any person the whys, the, the, that's the one why, but the mechanisms or the value propositions associated to rental property really comes to four different things. First, it's about taxes. It's really about reducing your taxes and how you can get an immediate positive impact on an asset even if you don't make any money yet. Um, actually one of our newest clients out of California just recently that was the reason why he contacted us about property management is because he wanted to reduce his taxable income. So you buy rental property one of the advantages is getting that reduced tax benefit. Second is about equity. Now, when you have a renter, you actually, you, you have a renter who's actually paying for your rental property. That monthly rent that's coming in, what does it do? It's actually paying down the mortgage or, or the financing that you have on that property. So in essence, you're getting someone else to pay your retirement in, in, in essence for you. One of, our, uh, one of our recent uh, dialogues we had with a, a husband and wife, who that's their very thing. They want to consider buying rental property, having someone pay it down for them so that in 15 years, when their kids that they're planning on having go to college, they have that property paid for. Third is actually appreciation. That's one we don't talk about a whole lot. You actually have someone else pay for your property, but because real estate tends to what? tends to go up over time, the value goes up over time. Even with some of the downturns we've seen, in essence, rental property tends to go up over time. So when you do end up selling that property, and there are other ways to take advantage of it, even if you don't sell it, but when you sell that property, you get the opportunity to take advantage of the appreciation that occurred while you were sitting there having someone else pay, pay your mortgage, pay that property down. And to me, number four is actually, I wish we could hear the angels singing right now, it's really that nirvana. What happens when, some of us are fortunate enough to, to be able to pay cash for a property, but what happens when you have someone that's rented your property and they bought it in essence for you, you make that last payment, you write that last check to the mortgage company, and what happens? Now that property is completely yours and sure you have some expenses, you still have insurance and taxes and certain things you have to pay for it. But every check that comes in has a big chunk of money in it that potentially you can put it in your pocket. It's money that, you know, it's your own personal bank, your own personal ATM in many regards. So those are really the four values why people say, you know, that they enjoy or like the benefit of, of residential rental property. Um, so again, tax, uh, equity, growth, someone else growing your equity. Third is appreciation, and then again, for that nirvana or that cash flow that you get from, uh, from having rental property. Now, I talked about how that one person uh, is buying property for tax benefit. So whatever your reason for wanting to invest in residential rental property, without the best education, or more importantly, without having a partner who knows the ins and outs of the business, 
who can help you avoid the pitfalls and can help educate you on the where's and why's. Um, you know, without those, the likelihood or the potential for you making a mistake in residential rental is, is very large. So again, the goal of our show is to educate you on the benefits of real estate, but also the opportunity to avoid those pitfalls. So for those that want to you know, garner those benefits or to talk to a professional who understands that, such as those agents of ours at Red Team, you can go to rentredteam.com, rentredteam.com, and actually ask those questions. Because every real estate investor, ones that have properties now, or as I said, those people that are just kind of trying to figure it out, trying to consider whether rental properties are meant for them, having the opportunity to talk to someone, just ask questions, uh, not have any cost associated, just, just to speak to someone, get their questions answered, it, it, it's such a benefit. And then you can determine if rental property is really for you. So I challenge you, go to rentredteam.com, educate yourself on what makes sense for you in the residential rental property, and it'll give you the opportunity to see if rental real estate is for you. I'm Michael Mays, and I'll be right back. Hi, Michael Mays again here on Rent This Home. Uh, I really spent a lot of time talking about values. The four real values that people talk about when they say why they ultimately bought residential rental property. We've talked about them. One is tax benefit. Another is equity, getting someone else to pay for your, your uh, retirement vehicle. Uh, number three is that appreciation. Again, taking advantage over time, the value of real estate. And then again, number four to me, I call it the nirvana. When you've paid off a property and you're actually getting that cash benefit each month. Now, how long does that take? It doesn't happen overnight, not typically. Some of us have the benefit of being able to pay cash for a property. Many of us don't. But you know what's interesting? I'm seeing a lot of people out there right now that can afford to pay cash for a property that are choosing not to. Because interest rates are very low, and they're able to get a much better value out of their dollar by financing a portion of their re residential real estate. But most of them aren't as successful if they don't have the, the right partners for their, their rental properties. Because let's face it, you need, you need a pro in your, in your corner. I talk about barber shops too. There are many people out there that own haircutting places. Not very many of them have cut hair before. They're doing it as a business decision, and that's why most people buy residential rental property is to, basically, it's, it's buying a business. You're turning the key and buying a business. So having those professionals to work with is very important when you do that. So what does that mean? What, what is a professional that's going to help you? What we're really talking about is residential property management, which is what we do at Red Team. And I'd love for you, if you're interested in, in seeing more about what we do, go to rentredteam.com, rentredteam.com, excuse me. Um, but full service property management is what I believe enables you as an investor to find someone you trust who's going to help you get that best value out of your property. Because let's face it, if you spend money on a property and you don't get value out of it, why would you spend the money in the first place? So finding that partner is very important. <clears throat> but... I have people ask me all the time, what, what does that mean? What is full service property management? And what we're talking about is everything from finding that first tenant for a property. In fact, great example, a, a client of ours that just bought in Saginaw here in Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, which is a hot area right now, um, who bought a property in Saginaw, and he just he needs a tenant first, first and foremost. So what a full service property management company does is finds that tenant. So it markets the property, takes the pictures, puts it on the internet, fields all the calls from the prospective tenants, uh, also screens those tenants because no matter, that's another, whoa, one of the pitfalls. 
one of the biggest mistakes that someone can have is to have a property, to get a horrible tenant, and turn right around and have to evict them in a short period of time. If you select well on the front end, it has so much more of a positive impact on the back end. So full service property management, finding that first tenant, taking care of all the money and all the machinations associated to getting a signed lease, and also keeping you at a distance from the tenant. Um, that's a big, big part of it. But after that happens, how many of the people out there that are listening right now, do you really want to service a 10 p.m. phone call about a, a busted, some plumbing, the toilets overflowing? In fact, that just happened this last weekend. We had a client who had toilet overflowing, both toilets in the house, because a main line had uh, gotten clogged up. It was Sunday afternoon. Most people don't want to have to deal with that. That's why you hire a professional property management company. But it's not just about that. It's about collecting rent. It's about sending you your money as an owner. But it's also on the tail end. It's renewing leases. It's doing the homework to make sure that if, if your rental rate, which is another pitfall associated to people managing their own properties, is making sure you're charging the best rate that you can and best, get the best return, best value for your property. So that's another important part. When we get to a renewal, once a lease is over, you want to make sure you're charging the right rent. And that's where a professional property manager comes into play. Back to full service, though. I wish I could say it. I wish that, wish I could say every time you place a tenant, you're always going to love that tenant. They're always going to take care of everything. And, and really, ultimately, you, you can't say that's always going to be the case, so you have to be prepared for that eviction. That's going to happen. It does. That's another service that a full-service property manager should be taking care of for its owners. And so, the, to me, the best way to look at it, not that every, every client, every owner that we represent does this, but you need to be able to go on a 12-month vacation around the world and not have to worry about your property being taken care of. You want to know that somebody's got their eyeballs on that property, on taking care of business for you. That's another big reason why people hire property managers because they can't be in front of their property all the time. They can't. Many of them have jobs. Some of them run businesses. How can you take care of your property when you're, you've got other stuff that affects your day to day? So, professional property management is about finding a trusted advisor that's going to have your best interest. Yay, as a real estate agent, fiduciary responsibility to you as an owner, making sure that they're taking care and getting the best value for you and your property. Many of our owners are from out of state. Because the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex is such a hot rental, it's just, it's just such a hot rental market. It's probably the number one in the, in the country right now, at least in my opinion making sure that your property that's hundreds of miles away is well taken care of is an important part of knowing that you've done well with your, your real estate investment. So I challenge you, learn more about professional property management. You can check out our website at rentredteam.com, rentredteam.com, and you can see if professional management is for you. So check it out, and then we will talk more about how property management can be valuable to you and your business. Be right back. Hi, Michael Mays here again with Rent This Home, and I am joined by none other than the illustrious Pat Doerr, host of the Business Spotlight. And just as important, uh, to be honest, people, he is a key reason why we're even here talking, uh, who's the inspiration for our show. So I really, I want to welcome you, Pat. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it, Mike. It's always good to be with you on the set. So tell me, why, why are people... One, why, would, why are people talking about what we're doing here with Rent This Home, and, and why would they be interested in even being associated to this show? Well, I appreciate that, Mike. One of the things that when we first set out to, to create this show, we wanted to create something that sponsors would get co-marketed co in a way, that they would get a benefit from being associated with the show, but we wanted to take it a step, well, several steps farther. 
Usually when it comes to a TV show, a sponsor gets a 30 second ad and that's about it. Or maybe they get a couple during the show. But the one thing that we found is that that's just not enough nowadays. The best way to really get a win-win is to create a reason for uh, cross-marketing, a way for cross-marketing. And so that's what we came up with, is if we had five or six sponsors, they would get a commercial, they would get uh, on the show a couple of times during a year, telling their story, creating valuable content. Because the value of this show is, yes, it'll be aired, and it's, uh, we're thankful that it's going to be aired. But really the value of the show beyond that is, is take your story, put it on YouTube, Vimeo, some of these other places out there, so that it's, it's what I call internet bre it's bread for the internet ocean. You know what I mean? It's that, it's that idea that if you take some of these pieces, these sound bites, and create something that's valuable and powerful, for the sponsors. Now they get to use it on their website, but then we thought, what if we turbocharged it? What if we really said, we'll cross market with all of the sponsors? Every show going on every other sites. So the thing that's been, that was really great is, Mike, you came up with a list of potential sponsors that would be the, uh, not just logical, but best fit for working with us on the show, and then allowing, essentially, us to hook up to my marketing engine, which is what we've done with the Business Spotlight, and create powerful video for the, for the guests, or for the sponsors, really, and that become guests. You know what I hear from that? <clears throat> I hear, as a professional, as a business owner, as someone that relies on marketing, relies on referrals, re relies on word of mouth, um, it's almost... It's almost like a powerful networking team that, that's really, I don't know, I, the, the thought, the, the word that comes to mind, uh, call it hokey, call it biology, but this cross-pollination cross is really the, the, the word that comes to mind that we're actually, in essence, planting seeds uh, across multiple different, different groups. Is that? Absolutely. The, the one thing that you find is that when you take your marketing efforts and my marketing efforts, I know a, a few people, more than four, you know? <laughs> you, you know at least six or eight. Actually, it's probably add the word thousand on the end. The idea is that if I get to, to be present in your marketplace and you get to be present in mine, that cross-pollination has many aspects of it that are, are, it's called the halo effect. It's where if I'm in your backyard you invited me there, and you invited me, I should say, then I'm with you, and if you're one of the good guys and there's only a few of us left, by association, that means I am. Well, when you do that with a couple of different businesses and they all get time in front of the cameras and they're all getting time to tell their story, now all of a sudden we're growing a forest instead of just a garden. Credibility by association, if you will. Exactly. It's that whole speed of trust thing. So... So when it comes to when it comes to someone engaging on that, how, how, <clears throat> are there are there other ways to express it? Because to me, I see it for some. Even though I don't know, I, call me silly, call me crazy. It makes sense to me. I, I wonder how people can see the power of it, having never done it before. If you're talking to someone, a professional out there. I don't know, um, let's talk about uh, finance. Let's talk about finance. How would you explain it to someone, the drill down, how would you explain it to them that if they're in the finance space, for example, the mortgage space or, or whatever, how would you explain to them how something like this would work for them? How would you get specific and give them the ideas of how this would drill down and work specific? You know, that's really cool what you're talking about, but how do we drill down? I guess the, the easiest way that I would say to drill down in something like this is to, to look at if you're a financial planner and you get into a mortgage company's marketplace, then you're literally right in a sweet spot for you. If you're a CPA, now again, you're going into a financial planner's space through the cross-marketing or 
something of that nature. Now, again, it's that association your credibility in front of them has raised. You've got a great deal of benefit that's been created for you, and the cross-pollination really works. Mike? So it's almost like a pool. <clears throat> You're getting to uh, swim in the pool that someone else owns. I like that. So if you're interested in checking out some of those opportunities, uh, please check out Pat's information. Uh, also, you can check our information out at rentredteam.com, and we will be right back. Well, welcome back to Rent This Home. I'm Michael Mays with Red Team Property Management. I'm here with Pat Doerr, the host of the Business Spotlight. Pat, you were asking me some stuff off, off camera. Um, although <laughs> you know, one of the things that I wonder about, Mike, is tell me a little bit more about what Red Team in particular is doing to grow, um, to grow their business. You know, it's, it's interesting because as we talk about it all the time, our, our clients are our owners. They own residential rental property, whether that's one property or, or maybe they're thinking about buying their first property. One property, four properties, ten properties, it doesn't really matter. We grow our business one door at a time, as we say. But a big part of what we're doing right now, uh, the company started a couple of years ago, and we are very heavily focused on acquisition. So we're looking to buy our competitors. And what does that mean? Well, some of our competitors are big companies. Uh, they may have several hundred or even a thousand, two thousand residential properties, doors, as we call them in the business. That could be um, that could be a multifamily. That could be what we call quads. It could be four doors in one building. It could be a, an, an eight apartment, eight door apartment building, or it could be single family homes. It doesn't matter. These competitors are managing the same thing that we do. So we're heavily looking to buy their management portfolio from them. Some of these people are looking to retire, get out of the business, and we're paying a premium for their portfolios. But it's also about, I'm a real estate agent. All property managers in the state of Texas, and in many of the states, have to be licensed real estate agents to manage properties for more than one person. They can manage their own properties, or they can work as an employee for someone and not have a license. But if they're going to manage for more than one person, they have to have a license. So as a licensed real estate agent, um, I come across agents all the time that have, for extra income, for whatever reason, they decided to, I'm going to manage a few properties. So maybe they have five properties or ten properties. And then they realize, oh my gosh, that's a lot of work and it's not really what they want to do. Whereas in our business, that is what we do. We're not really interested in being focused on buying and selling. That's what they do very well. And so we offer them to take on that burden that they don't want to do, and we really do. That's what we live for. Um, we take on that burden, and we pay them handsomely for it. Like I said, we pay a premium. Um, but we also we have different structures. We have several different structures, everything from I'll write you one check, and we take over all the responsibility, to uh, multiple, well, really, they can even have an, uh, a, an income stream over the life of those properties as well. But one of the big things is that we know what it takes to manage. And many of those people that do property management but aren't property managers, we really, I, I think firmly that we're taking a burden off of them. So that's a big part of our business right now is focusing on acquisition. Well, I think you also are taking a great deal of risk assessment or risk sure. uh, uh, sure. off of the, the person that's renting the rents the property. But you know, it's not just risk, it's also time. The value of time, if you really want to buy and sell properties, why would you want to spend time dealing with the nuances of property management? Most of those agents make more money buying and selling and that's what they love to do. So why do something you don't want to do when it takes away time from something you really want to do? Got that it. So what's on the horizon for not only Red Team, but uh, Rent This Home? 
You know, it's exciting because Rent This Home is that, to, to me, that educational piece that, that really is that foundation, pardon the, the, the home pun, it's the foundation for helping investors understand the business. There's nothing worse than spending money on something and then turning around and you can't wait to get away from it as fast as possible so you lose as little money as possible. Right. So it's really about that education. But it's also, because, because we do property management and my partners and I, I mean, we, we love what we do and because we do it well and that's what we, that's what we do, that's what we focus on. I talk to agents and brokers all the time that um, we refer business to them. Because, uh, in fact, a great example in uh, Saginaw, here locally, uh, one of our California investors bought another property. But before he did, what we did was we put him in touch with an agent that's focused in Saginaw and focused on investors. That's what she likes. That's what she does. And so we put the two of them together so that she could go find the right fit for him. But also, we worked hand in hand with that real estate agent to run what we call, you know, we call it our first year analysis. We actually, free of charge for our, our owners, will run a 12 month worksheet so they can see I've got a home here that's going to cost me when I buy it $120,000. I've got an estimated $30,000 in repairs. And what we will do is run that worksheet for the owner to say $150,000, but here's your rough insurance costs. Here's your tax cost. Here's your property management cost. Here's what year one's going to look like. Is that something you're comfortable with? And we do many cases for owners on multiple properties. So the idea that we can work hand in hand and refer business to our fellow agents out there and help bring benefit to them as well as benefit to us and the owner, that's, that's a win-win. So to me, finding those agents and brokers that, that want to focus on investors and then can help us really all over the Metroplex, North Texas, we're talking Tarrant County, Dallas County, Collin County, Denton County, Johnson County, Parker County, uh, County, 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 County. But people that know those backyards and, and they can focus on what they do very well, buying properties, and we can help the, the owner succeed on the property management side. So that, that's, a, that's really a big part of it. What do, we, what do people do now? So I would challenge any, anybody out there, uh, real estate agent-wise or investor-wise, to go to rentredteam.com, see what we're doing, Ask us questions. We love answering questions. But also check out, you can, you can request our free book, The Seven Guides on Selecting a Property Management Company. We'll also be building on all the things we've been teaching today about finance and insurance, all the other things around property management. And we look forward to helping you sometime near. Thank you.